Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're going to be doing kind of a channel update slash talk slash vlog thing. Uh, so, so the first thing I want to talk about is the channel's growth. So far this year, we've been doing pretty well. Uh, YouTube has been odd for a lot of uh, YouTube channels in that they're making less income. Um, I've noticed that a little bit personally, but as far as the growth of the channel goes, it's it's going pretty well. Our numbers are pretty good. You guys are doing a good job of watching videos. We're doing a good job of, uh, of growing the subscriber number, and it, it, everything's going pretty well, so that's a good thing. But I get a lot of people who ask me, uh, you know, what's the best way for us to watch your videos? That sounds like a weird question, but I do get people to ask me that. Like, a lot of people know the YouTube algorithms are kind of weird in how they work. And so they ask me, you know, should I just watch them every day? And the answer is yes. And then the other question is, should I watch them on the weekend and just binge? And the answer is yes. It's odd because as I upload every day, people watch them. But then they know that the watch time is what really matters. So if they're only watching, you know, a five or ten minute video every day, that's a short watch time. Whereas if they watch them on the weekends, they'll watch maybe an hour's worth at one time. And that that is, they're both helpful. And, and the way the algorithm works is really weird. So what I would suggest is that you watch them when I upload them. If you're interested in, in watching them in certain times, do whatever works for you, obviously. I mean... It doesn't make that much of a difference. If you can only watch them in the morning before work, that's why I upload them early. If you can only watch them at lunch, they're sitting there waiting. And if you can watch them after work or before you go to bed or while you're watching TV or whatever, they're there. They're for you. Whenever you want to watch them, that's fine. But if you want to watch them in a strategical way, that'll be helpful for the channel. And I know that sounds weird, but it's true. It all makes sense if you know how the algorithms work. Watching more at a time is helpful. But it can also be good for you because I've created playlists for just about every type of video I do. And I guess I shouldn't say just about because it is all of the videos. I have playlists for Spider-Man, Batman, any comic book thing specifically. Uh, I've tried to make a playlist for those videos. And I've also made playlists for broader topics like general types of figures like play arts. So if you're into play arts figures, watch or go to that playlist and check it out and maybe watch a couple videos or watch half of a video and then move on to the next one or whatever you want to do, things like that. Or, or movie reviews or vlogs or unboxings or gaming or Bandai figure arts or all small scale imports or Dragon Ball. I, I've got playlists for everything. So make sure you check out the playlist. That will help the channel grow. It's a little thing, but it makes a big difference. Like I said, even if you only watch half of a video or you just skip around in a video because you don't need to see every part of a review, I get it. I understand how that works. Not everybody wants to sit there and watch a whole review. But if you watch a playlist, you don't have to watch the whole thing, obviously, but if you click around and watch, like go from one video to the next, maybe spend 20 minutes watching videos, you're probably going to do that anyway on your lunch break. So, there you go. You have a playlist of things you can watch that will be interesting for you. Or check out another playlist or whatever. That will help the channel a lot. And you'll be watching the videos you want to watch anyway. They're just in a nice organized layout for you. So check it out. Try it. It might help. It, well, it will help me. It might help you. It can't hurt you. It can't hurt me. So why not? The other thing I want to talk about, and this is a touchy subject, I know, but I have to I have to talk about it from time to time because it is my livelihood at stake here. So, Patreon. I'm not going to ask you guys for money. Okay, don't worry about that. I'm going to beg for it. No, I'm not going to do that either. It, it's not like that here. You guys know I don't pander to you, um, although, well, we'll get to that in a minute. My reviews are meant to help you. Everything I do on this channel is for you guys. I don't pander to these manufacturers at all. I get almost no stuff sent to me review sample wise. I get some stuff from NECA, a couple of random companies here and there. Like I get like the uh, TNC Street Fighter stuff every once in a while. Those little like uh, vinyl Street Fighter guys, I get those. And then some of the HIA alien stuff they, they sent me that a long time ago so I get almost nothing but it's cool like that's not what I'm here for it would be nice but I'd rather give you guys the videos that are helpful for you rather than just promote products so everything I do is for you guys so again this isn't something you need to do I'm not telling you you should do it I'm just making it an option that's available which is patreon I'm going to explain what it is a little bit 
it's a thing for, it's generally for artists or people on YouTube or anything like that where you don't have like a fixed salary income and you're creating stuff for the public or for people specifically. Some people do it for their commissions even. Uh, I don't really go that route because that's a separate thing for me, but it's just a way for people. It's kind of like crowdfunding. It's like Kickstarter, but it's like just a monthly thing or a per project type of thing. You don't just give the money and then hope they do the Kickstarter. You, you give them the money and it supports their whatever they're doing. And you get rewards based on how much you donate. So on my, uh, my Patreon, I'm not going to go through everything, but if you donate, there's different tiers and you get different amounts of exclusive videos. Or you get entered in for a uh, figure drawing, a free figure. I give away a figure every month. Um, and it'll end up being more figures depending on how many people are involved in that. Because I don't want to just, you know, have like a thousand people, which not going to happen, but it would be really nice if I had a thousand patron patrons. Patrons. Um, anyway, I, I make sure I give out enough stuff so that it's not like you're never going to win. So far, I think everybody that's been at that tier has won. I'm pretty sure it's worked out that way. Uh, it is a random drawing, but I keep the numbers low. Anyway, you get that, and then there's a tier where you get to um, have a, a private chat with me on like um, like Skype or Xbox Live, whatever you want to do, where if you want to ask me questions about customs or about YouTube or just hang out and play some video games, it's all good. That's that's how it works. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this video is because I was on the interwebs the other day and I was looking through things and by way of YouTube having recommended videos and stuff, I ended up on this one cosplayer's YouTube channel. You guys probably know who she is uh, or at least you'll be able to figure it out. I'm not going to say any names because it's not, it's not the point. Anyway, long story short, I got around to her Patreon page, which I was thinking like, okay, I'll, I'll just check it out. I'll see what she's making because, you know, hot chicks on the internet, guys tend to like boobies. She's probably making a decent amount of money on Patreon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. $24,000 a month on Patreon. That's insane. That's more than I make in a year. That's so much. Oh man, I was, I was so jealous and bitter, and sad when I saw that number. I'm not saying she shouldn't do it. I'm not saying she shouldn't post pictures of herself in a bikini. If she can make money doing that, more power to her. I'm willing to do that too. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm willing, I'll, uh, you know, whatever I need to do, if I need to, I will do it, and we can, we can get something worked out, and I'll, I'll do whatever I need to do to get you guys to go over to Patreon. That's, that's what I'm saying. No, but seriously speaking, if you guys want to support the channel, if I've ever helped you save some money on a figure, um, I, I assume that's happened because I've given a lot of honest reviews about bad figures that other people haven't, and I've heard a lot of you, many, many of you have said, wow, you just saved me a bunch of money. So if that's ever happened, consider kicking in a dollar on my Patreon, just a dollar a month. If you're interested, if not, it's cool. The, the content stays the same on the main channel either way. You guys probably haven't noticed a change, um, but... I do have the bonus content on Patreon also, so if you want to kick in a buck or two, that'd be super appreciated, and and then you will get the exclusive content. And the good thing is, it's not just like, I'm going to use the money you guys donate to go out and party or stuff like that. I don't do that. That's not what it's for. The Patreon is for supporting what you're supporting. So I will use it to get better equipment. Like I have a new computer here, a new microphone, a new camera. They're good, but they're not the best. They're not even close to the best. Well, the computer is up there, but I can use that money to better what I'm doing for you guys. I can make better content. I can make more content. I can make more diverse content. And that's what the money goes toward. So if you want to support the channel, even if it's only a couple dollars. There's a lot of you guys out there, almost at 70,000 subscribers. So think of that. If it's a dollar a person, it adds up. Now, I know it's not going to get anywhere near that, but that's just how it works. So you guys can donate almost nothing. You wouldn't even notice it. 12 bucks a year, I'll probably get like nine bucks out of that after Patreon gets their fees. But it all adds up, and it'll allow me to make better content for you. So, yes, I feel weird asking you guys to do this or begging you if you want to put it that way or whatever. But it will help, and it's all going to come back to you in the end. So if you want to do it, I, I really, really appreciate it. It's, it's super great. It's awesome. You know, the people that are already there are having a good time. We have some good conversations about things. There's some really exclusive talks about things and things that I've planned for things in general, which I can't unveil publicly because it's exclusive to Patreon so far. 
Uh, anyway, th there's reasons to do it. And there's plenty of reasons not to. Don't get me wrong. I understand. If you don't want to donate, that makes perfect sense. Don't donate. That's cool. It's not going to change this channel at all. But if you do, if you're interested in helping out, this is the avenue to do that. It is patreon.com slash Anthony's Customs. Just check it out if you're interested. If you don't like it, that's fine. Don't do it. I'm not that kind of person who's like, oh, you need to give me money because I'm giving you guys stuff. No, it's I get it. If you don't want to, don't. I don't even mention Patreon almost ever. So that's not the way I am. It's not what I'm doing. But I have to do it occasionally so that you guys... No, it's an option, and so that we can uh, we can get some better stuff. Like I did get the new mic, the new camera, the new computer, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I didn't even realize how much better my content got after that. Like I thought it was good before. I, I didn't realize that the camera wasn't that great or the audio wasn't that great. I thought it was fine, but then just having the computer, I could see the difference in the camera. I mean, it's a DSLR, so it's not great for video, but I think it's made a significant increase in the quality and then the mic the mic helps a lot too so you know things like that and the lighting you guys probably noticed i have all new lighting in some of my videos well i mean it's in all the videos but you probably noticed it. anyway you get the idea this thing that wasn't cheap it's a giant backdrop for this type of video and i use it for my other videos just things like that it's all coming back to make higher quality content for you guys so if you want to donate donate. If you don't, I get it. Don't. I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks for watching. And if you, uh, if you're still at this part of the video, then I will pander to you and, uh, and, um, just know that, um, I'm, I'm willing to do what it, what it takes to make you happy. I'll post pictures of girls in bikinis. If you want to, I will dress up in a bikini. If you want me to, uh, I'll do whatever it takes. Cause I'm getting ready to sell out. I think that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. That's the whole point of this video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed if you're still here you probably like what I'm saying or at least you find it interesting so subscribe new videos every day and um, Lots of playlists and things like I said, it'll all be helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching